Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between two Charvel San Dimas guitars and one was made in Mexico, one was made in Japan and I wanted to see and actually kind of point out uh, what some of those differences are and maybe why some players prefer one over the other. Uh, so to get started here, the uh, red, the Ferrari red uh, version is a made in Japan model and the blue burst is a made in Mexico. So I would estimate the uh, Japanese version to have been constructed around uh, 2011 and the, uh, the Mexican version I think around 2014. That's when, it, um, when I first found it in a catalog uh, in this really nice blue burst uh, finish. So you know right away I think you can probably see that the, the neck tint on the Japanese one on the right is a little bit uh, darker has has like a vintage tint to it some people describe it as yellow um, so it's more of a uh, darker aged finish but both of them have have an aged or I'm sorry an oiled neck but uh, you can see that there is definitely um, a color difference between the two of them uh, that's one of the first obvious differences uh, another way I mean obviously to tell these apart quickly anytime if you're if you're out shopping for these um, out looking for them the uh, any of the made in Japan, I'm trying to get a focus here, or made in the U.S. models actually say right underneath the logo, and opposed to the uh, any of the newer made in Mexico versions, it just has the logo. We'll start looking here at uh, pickups. So the MIJ version has direct mounted pickups. Seymour Duncan. Uh, it's got the um, the JB in the bridge, and I think the the 59 in the neck. Uh, same with the, the Mexican version, however, these are mounted on a pickup ring. So you've got direct mount versus pickup ring is one of the big choices or one of the big differences there. We also have, let's see, they're both Korean made original Floyd Rose copies, except the MIJ version is top mounted or flush mounted, and the MIM version is recessed. Uh, before we look closer here at the back side, I actually wanted to point out too that the neck on the Japanese, and this is this is what you'll hear most commonly, uh, or the the finishes on on the Japanese necks are, I think I think there's a little better attention to the detail on the fit and finish. If you look closely here at the edges of the at the fretboard there, you can see it kind of has like a mini scallop look. Uh, that's a that's a rolled edge. And it's just done so nicely all the way up. So when it's in your hand, it already has that nice worn in feel. Let's see if I can get in closer here without it going out of focus. Uh, the frets are rolled nicely. They're crowned very well. Uh, this particular one had absolutely zero um, fret sprouting on the ends of these. Now, when you come over and look at the Mexican version, the edge of the neck is pretty much squared off and let's see if you can get a better idea when you, when you look over the edge of that there's there's a distinct line like a like a cutting line right there okay and it's almost 90 degree drop off so uh, this is a non rolled edge compared to a rolled edge I think that's picking it up Pretty well there so you can you can see but in your hand it is a massive difference um, again it's just a preference some guys like that you know worn in feel other guys don't mind the uh, more squared off shoulders on the on the Mexican version all right there was one more thing I wanted to point out uh, in relation to the fretwork on both of these so I'm gonna let you hear what um, I guess the best way to demonstrate the, the difference in the quality of the, uh, the fret finishing work is to kind of run this, uh, I've got this card here, it's just a, like a, a bag tag I pulled off of a gig bag, it's like kind of like a credit card here. So what I'm going to do is run this up the side of the neck and let you hear how smooth it, it runs up. Okay, the fret edges are rolled nicely along with the neck. Now, compare that over here to the Mexican neck. So 
yeah, it's, it's hanging. I've got fret sprout so bad on this one that I'm gonna have to take take and file these ends down because they're hanging over so bad. There we go. See it just barely sticking out. If I back up, there you go. That's a probably the best shot I can give you of that. So let's try that again. We'll just take this uh, that credit card looking tag here, and you can see it pulling compared to the Japanese. All right, so I flipped these around to let you take a look at the back side, uh, particularly the electronics, uh, the back of the Floyd to Floyd blocks, and also the tuners. So I think the biggest difference here from, from looking at them is right here. The tuners on the uh, Japanese, the MIJ, it's the Mini Grovers. There you go. All right, and then on the Mexican, version it is just a charvel branded uh probably like a i don't know a korean made uh tuner which work fine uh but just know that that's what you're getting there so you got the mini grovers and a charvel brand uh the neck plates do look pretty much the same and again, obviously you'll be able to tell, let's see if I can get out of the, the glare here. Uh, the Mexican neck plate, obviously, this is made in Mexico, and it starts with an MC in the serial, in the serial code, and then the Japanese neck plate says made in Japan with a JC. Okay, back of the necks are pretty much identical. Um, it's hard to feel any difference. They're, they're, they're both, again, it's, it's an oiled, kind of a satiny feel. So there's, they're both super fast, both very easy to play. All right, now we'll look in here at the control cavity. Actually, I think the the, the soldering in the control cavity uh, of the Mexican one looks a little cleaner. Look at the um, look at the the soldering work there, and then come over here and look at the Japanese. I don't know, just to me it looks a little looser. I don't know, looser is a bad word, but looks like a little more care was given. And, you know, the wires are kind of loose here, whereas over in this in this version, it's all kind of nice and tidy, and I, I like that. Uh, as far as the uh, the Floyd blocks, I don't see any difference there. The, the coloring is the same, so I would assume they're both, you know, that... Uh, Maybe that zinc alloy. I don't think you're picking anything up there extra over one or the other. They're both small, and obviously, probably the first thing anyone will want to do is is uh, do one of those big big block upgrades. Um, a couple other things to to point out about these: the Mexican version was not shipped with the hard shell case. I think you could buy a soft shell, or maybe they were shipped with the soft shell case. However, the Japanese version, it, it was shipped with an SKB case. And not only that, but has the uh, Charvel logo uh, embossed in, in the front there. And, and to purchase those cases separately right now from, you know, one of the major retailers is going to run you about 150 bucks. So, you know, that, that is a pretty good deal there. Uh, the plates for the Japanese, they're metal. Okay, and the plates for the... Uh, the Mexican, they're ABS plastic. Now in terms of the uh, newer Made in Mexico versions, uh, I think that started around 2016, last year. Um, they have added the the truss, truss rod uh, wheel adjustment right here. Um, they've cut out the notch and you've, you can see the, uh, the truss rod wheel adjustment in there. So that is a nice feature as well. Uh, so that's only on the newer version. So what I'm comparing for you here is the older, like 2013 to 2015 MIMs. Um, so that's one way to identify the new ones will be uh, the cutout there in the notch uh, just at the end of the neck so you can get your truss rod adjusted without popping the neck off, which is kind of a pain with these. Um, so that is another 
another new feature um, here lately. And I want to say I read that, okay, these are quarter sawn maple necks. And you can almost see it's just a nice grain in there. Um, I've got another, I've got a SoCal. It looks almost like it's got bird's eye in it. It's so good. And the original ones were, the original Mexico, uh, Mexican made Sandemuses and SoCals were also quarter saw maple. But what I've read lately is that the newer 2016 on up is not. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong on that, but all right, this is another example of one of the Japanese ProMod Charvels. Uh, this is the SoCal model uh, compared to the San Dimas. So this has the pit guard and the uh, the front mounted uh, jack there. So uh, same uh, same layout here. You've got the top mounted Floyd. Uh, however, this one came with DiMarzio's. And uh, what I really wanted you to see was to take a look at uh, the quality of the maple used uh, in the neck and again it almost has a uh, little bit of bird's eye in it just a touch but it's just strikingly beautiful all the way up I'm trying to get to keep the glare out of it here And again, the same uh, neck treatment has been done on this uh, from the factory. It almost has a uh, kind of a rolled edge. When you get down to looking at it, you can kind of see it has sort of a scalloped edge look to it. Especially down in between the higher frets, you can definitely see where it's rolled. Anyway, so that's pretty much uh, that's the observation there between both of them. Uh, again, they both play great, sound great. Uh, I'm not going to play them here, but you can look up plenty of other videos of sound clips of people playing these. Uh, they're just you know killer shred machines, and uh, both sound and feel great in their own way. So you know if one makes you happy, that's great. But um, yeah, so that, those are the differences. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, uh, definitely drop a line below and. Um, you know, if you found out anything different about yours or maybe if I've overlooked something, uh, put that in the comments as well. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or leave a comment. Thanks.